So Tim, we, we see surfers going surfing and do, is there something typical that you see in every different surfer like, or yeah. most, most surfers yeah, in and general? Yeah, and it's almost like in every athlete, um, we have certain muscles that we tend to favor. And over a period of time, like until we're about 12 years old, that's all great. But once we start to mature and so forth, there are so many reps on one side of the body or on one front or back of the body, one angle of the body that it creates an imbalance. And over time, that imbalance actually affects how the muscles fire, their ability to stretch, their ability to contract, uh, and even coordinate those muscles. And you lose that the more a muscle gains tension. And so we found that there are certain muscles that are always tight in surfers, and there are certain muscles that are always weak in surfers. And you know, with working with you, give me the feedback you've given me, we've been able to really identify those muscles and then build up strategies with tape around those muscles to make them fire, to make them activate more or switch on. And we've taken those things that we've learned working together and basically you know, put them into shorts so that you don't have to be taped, you can actually just slip these shorts on and you get the benefit of you know, what took us working together for years yeah. to really figure out. What are the typical weaknesses you see in a surfer? Yeah, so um, like because we're so strong in the front, in the quads, and in the hip flexors, the muscles that are direct opposite of those get weak. Yeah. And so in this case, it's the glute maximus. And so you have this thing, the glute medius on the side here, but you have the glute max, which is the muscle straight in the back there. That gets weak. And there's a chain of muscles, a chain of movement that goes down the leg. So you have, from the glute max, you have the hamstrings, yeah. and specifically the inner hamstring. And then you have the groin, the muscles that pull the legs together. Those muscles tend to be weak as well. So what we've done, basically, is we've built a model of those muscles inside those compression shorts. And then we've put a silicone print on there that will stimulate the nerves that are in the skin to tell the brain to tell those muscles to fire. Yeah. And when those muscles fire, boom just like you were talking about when your first experience wearing those shirts, shorts, instantly you felt like someone was coming up behind you and giving you a lift, mm. and that was the goal. What do you want like the general public to feel? Like, is it looser in the back? Is yeah, it the, yeah. the glutes switched on? So the hips, the hips were really designed to be mobile. Yeah. And when we get tight from sitting in chairs, and you know, we don't all surf 12 hours a day, so when guys are at work or at school, um, those glute muscles really tighten up. Yeah. And so what we're recognizing is that if we can put fabric in those areas where they tighten up that actually expands and then put fabric in the areas where they're not toned enough that actually tone, add tone to those muscles, now we're creating muscular balance in an area where it was imbalanced. Yeah. And so you can have anything from your, your knees feeling a lot better, your hips feeling looser, easier to pop up on a board, which is a big issue when people get, start to get older. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. also, yeah. <laughs> and, and what it's doing is so it's protecting the hips by giving them more motion. It yeah. protects the low back because the low back was supposed to be stable. And if your hips are tight, that means the low back's got to be loose, and that's when we get injured. Yeah. And it's the same phenomenon in the knee. The knee was built to be a stable joint, not a loose joint. So when the hips become tight, the knees become vulnerable to injury. Yeah. And so we're really taking all these common injuries that we see in surfing, and we're building a solution for that. Yeah. One that you can wear, and yeah. the one that you can feel the second you put on. Nice, nice.